Cardano is coming with a new stablecoin called Jed. This is an algorithmic stablecoin that people have been hyped about for over a year. Yesterday, I made a video on this, and honestly, I didn't leave in some things I should have, and I didn't talk about all of the parts that make Jed possibly more risky than I thought previously after seeing some information come out over the past 24 hours. Yesterday's video will be linked down in the description for an overview of Jed and how it works, but let's cut to the chase. Jed is launching in January, which in the next 30 days, and thing is, it's launching, but it's launching the minimal version. And there are some known minor issues of minimal Jed that may be more major than minor, in my opinion. If you want to support the channel and stake your ADA turn passive ADA, by the way, you can do that with the Jack stake pool. But now let's get into the minor issues of minimal Jed and confirming that yesterday and within the next 30 days, minimal Jed is the version being launched. And we don't really know how long it's going to take to get the extended version of Jed, uh, which will counteract most of these minor issues. It could be a year till we see that or more. We don't really know. But let's go over this, right? This is uh, Zygomeb from Optum, the tech lead of Optum Finance, saying that he would not advise anyone to use the system as according to the paper itself. It is not a very robust design. And primarily he's talking about the reserve draining part here in this article. And if we zoom in on it, we can see that reserve draining attack with price foresight, a variation of theorem seven dropping the assumption of constant exchange rates does not hold a malicious user can, who can foresee how the exchange rate will evolve, perhaps because of an excessive Oracle delay or active price manipulation can perform sequences of actions that will drain the bank's reserves. Now, keep in mind, this is the version that is launching in January, minor jet, okay, or minimal jet, sorry, not minor jet, with these minor issues. So, if you are someone who's going to invest money into Jed or put a bunch of money in Jed and hold it there as a stable coin you think is going to be Cardano's leader or you know is going to do well in Cardano and actually hold its peg, that's the whole point of a stable coin, not to make money, but to just hold your money, um, at least in the USD valuation. Maybe you'll make money if Cardano price goes down because you're a short in Cardano. I don't know. But in general, you should know these things, right? This is pretty important. I know most people are getting into Jed. A lot of them probably wouldn't even read these minor issues, so that's why I'm making the video on it. Um, uh, on top of reserve draining attack with price foresight, this is probably the biggest uh, issue that I wouldn't say is minor because if one bad actor um, who is intelligent enough to pull this off makes a run on the bank and drains the bank, then that would obviously pretty much ruin the re reputation of Jed, uh, likely, and it wouldn't be a good look. So you have to be careful with that. We're going to be a mainnet. This will be real money going into play, and we have to think about these things and think them through. Uh, if this is to happen, it would not be good for all of Cardano, right? And it wouldn't be good for people losing their money. On top of that, we have wholesale discounts. Um, I'll let you read this if you want. Uh, basically, in minimal Jed, the price is fixed before the action, but every action changes the balance of reserves and smart contracts and RCs and hence the effects of future price. Therefore, the total price paid or received of a given quantity of SCs or RCs depend on how this quantity is bought or sold. Example, assuming that constant exchange rate, buying 10 RCs at once is cheaper than buying 10 RCs in two consecutive purchases of five RCs. Also keep in mind, although reserve draining attack with price foresight, that is a main issue here that would worry most people. There are other minor issues to take into account and this shouldn't be overlooked, especially if you're someone who's looking into the Cardano stablecoin ecosystem and trying to pick Jed. We're gonna be trying out Jed with its release. And another issue is wholesale discounts. This is in with the relation to the stable coins and reserve coins and how it's going to affect the future price based on the total price paid or received for a given quantity of stable coins or reserve coins. And this depends how this quantity is bought or sold. Assuming that it's a constant exchange rate, buying 10 reserve coins at once is cheaper than buying 10 reserve coins in two sets of five. So this is something that is likely going to happen. It's not as big of an issue as reserve draining with price foresight, but it still is a minor issue. We also have to keep in mind that another problem or minor issue is zero equity. Basically, when the reserve ratio falls to one, the equity of that ratio falls to zero, making the target price of reserve coins also zero. To avoid people purchasing a limited amount of zero dollars, zero cent reserve coins, there is a minimum price introduced. The problem of the simple fix is that artificially set minimal price might be inconsistent with the market price, discouraging people from buying reserve coins in times of need. The fourth minimal issue is rigid fees. Right now, the pricing model doesn't allow to increase or decrease fees smoothly. Um, so to encourage operations that drive the reserve ratio to an optimal level, 
and to discourage operations that drive it away from the optimum. So you're gonna have to keep this in mind. Fees aren't gonna be perfect, especially with the minimal version of JET, and that is a minor issue, maybe even major for some people. Another thing that doesn't sound so good, especially when you read it out loud, is the haircut for stablecoin holders. When the peg is lost, the stablecoin holders suffer financial losses. And minimal JED does not have mechanisms to cover these losses. And the final minor known issue in minimal JED is RC bank runs or reserve coin bank runs. The analog of theorem five for reservations does not hold. In this case, when the reserve ratio is close to our min, RC holders may feel encouraged to race against one another to sell the RCs because every RC sale brings reserve ratio closer to our min and further sales of RC would be blocked when our min is reached and you do not want to be blocked. Now I did cover the original thread yesterday and quite a bit of excitement covering Jed because the idea that this works out is very positive for the Cardano community but I do want to also advise people that hey you should probably look out for these things before getting into this. You should probably be okay um, with doing some speculation of yourself and some research of yourself and deciding for yourself if this is something you want to get involved in. I'm not saying that all these issues are going to be completely realized or you know, there's going to be a run in the bank for sure, but there is risks here and I want people to know about them. Now, it's also not certain that, that something like this is going to happen. Cardano has some obscurity behind it and making a run in the bank on a jed is not going to be a super easy task that just anyone who has a lot of money or decides they want to do it can do it um, but it could happen right that's the point there is minor issues they are known and put out here for the world to see and there's also probably issues that aren't known um, so you have to keep these things in mind these are the ones that are known um, at least jed has written in their paper they've made it pretty clear that these are known issues and these are things that they know about and the extended version of jed which may not be coming this year i don't know it might be a while will solve a lot of these issues but as of January, the version of Jed that's coming is minimal Jed, and it comes with these issues, so you should know about it. Lots of people are saying to not advise anyone to use the system accordingly to the paper itself. Um, it's not a very robust design. I myself am going to let you decide for yourself um, based on this and based on where you think Jed could go in the future. If it's going to last till extended Jed and everything's going to be okay and all your money will be stably pegged just fine in true DeFi. Because keep in mind, this actually is true DeFi. It is pretty cool to see. It's not fiat backed. It's algorithmic backed. So there's a lot of excitement on that end, but also you need to tone it down sometimes because excitement can lead to rash decisions and rash decisions do not allow the foresight to see that there are still issues with this um, and there's things that could go wrong so hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you found it helpful if you did stay with the jack stake pool i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video i will leave this tweet that i covered in today's video in the description if you want to check it out peace out